There we go. That's the right button. Hello, hello. Welcome to CoffeeCraft running a whole half hour late. Sorry about that. Work ran late. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a day. So uh, everything just kind of trickled down from there. I didn't want to skip another stream, especially since I need slime. Uh, I need slime for a couple of upcoming projects that I'd really like to get done. As soon as I figure out what those are, I'll let you know. In the meantime, I am going to hunt some slime. Um, this is where Medic Arcadius and I were running around doing some slime hunting earlier. Looks like somebody actually got a composter set up and uh, got our uh, smoke signal too, so that way we could find where we were supposed to be easier. Uh, I, I've got, I got a little bit. Oh, awesome. Uh, do do you see the coordinates in the in the HUD there? Wait, way long ways away. Well, I'm I'm curious what else we got floating around. We got the sugar cane that I pulled up earlier. Uh, some unbreaking. What do I got in there? Unbreaking two already. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. It looks like most of the stuff got taken away. Uh, ooh, I forgot to check. Did you guys remember to bring the both of the foxes back or? No, both of the foxes are here. Uh, while Medic Arcadius and I were running around looking for a uh, <clears throat> a swamp so we could do some slime stuff, um, we we well we didn't intend to capture the turtles. They they just happened to be in the area. There's more than a few of them. Um, but we did find two little foxes, foxen on our way over and uh we they were in the middle of the water we rescued them in the boat and and fully intend to take them back i would like to put them in a sweet berry farm they do get a cut of the sweet berries just in case you're wondering uh matter of fact once we get a working iron farm that might be the next one uh and maybe just get a couple of like just a couple of double chests full of sweet berries because i don't know that we need that many of them and uh, and then just turn the rest into bone meal. So that way it becomes a very, very nice bone meal farm. Because I have a funny feeling a lot of the things that we're going to do are going to require bone meal. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get that sword ready because this one is down to all of two durability. Uh, ooh. And at some point, I wonder, did anybody did anybody finish assembling the ruined portal? Or do you have the stuff to fix said ruined portal? And Optifine is being really weird right now. I need to maybe I need to see if there's a new a new update out. And what are you doing all the way over here? I'm pretty sure this is not your home. Don't look at me like that. Somewhere around here. Uh, somewhere in this rather extensive swamp is a, is a ruined portal. I thought it was this way. But not this way. I should probably uh, go do something about the food situation too. Or is it more to this side? Yep. Oh, there we go. There it is. I wonder if we got the uh, the obsidian and whatnot to fix this ruined portal. We'd have to pull that crying obsidian out of the corner there. Uh, although, although, I am sorely tempted to see if the group wants to vote on a data pack that lets you use crying obsidian in your portal creation uh let's see we would need one two three four five six six obsidian although i mean technically we could pull that one and that one so that'd be two three four eh, eh. 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 That's my fully articulated answer. Eh. 
Of course, I'd have had to have had a diamond pick on me in the first place, which I left back at the base to keep it safe. Because, of course, I did. Hi. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that to go like that, but, uh, okay. This little sheepy went to the market. There we go. Now, now I'm ready with the fresh sword. And I am kind of worried about my food supply while I'm out here. Alright. Uh, as you may or may not know, in the s <laughs> until you can find a slime chunk, the best way to get slimes is to head out to... Did I just throw the sword? Why did I just... Th I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I say that like I'm shocked, but I'm also the same guy who stabbed himself twice with the X-Acto Blade today, so... I don't know. Like I said, it's that kind of day. Um, what was I even going on? Oh, uh, if you want slimes and you don't know where a slime chunk is, the next best thing is to find a swamp. And there is a percentage chance for them to spawn at night in the swamp. And if you are... and during one particular phase of the moon or, or something like that, they also spawn with greater frequency, something, something, astrological, what's your sign? I don't know. Uh, something like that. Actually, I do have four diamonds here. I could make a diamond pick and try to fix that. Although I think I'm still going to be just a smidge short. Oh, we got water. If I could find a lava bucket, I could probably finish fixing... Oh, no, that's the same, and that's not lava. Um, I might be able to finish fixing that portal. In which case, we would need the coordinates for the portal next to home. And that might make this trip a little bit easier. Uh, matter of fact, I've got three slime balls and some string, which means I could make a couple of leads to get the foxes back home a little bit easier. Maybe. I mean, look, we're, we're traveling through the nether. That, that might be one of those things where, uh... <laughs> oh no, yeah, we, we got plenty of string. Unlike that song, I have plenty of string. Okay, so we'll put the sticks in there for now. String there for now. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let, let's see if we can fix. Or what will be left to fix that one portal. Put that safely away. Uh, let me get the next batch of that cooking. Let me get that safely away. I'm going to hang on to the rest. I got flint and steel to light it up. I'm trying to remember where I got the extra flint and steel from. I'm 80% sure I didn't bring it with me uh, when we were doing this over the weekend. Or did I? I don't know. Oh, Depth Strider. How I missed thee. Uh, you died? Uh, no dying. Dying is not allowed. By order of the something or other. I'm sure. Is that your flint and steel? Okay, I was wondering where I got it from. I, I, I do, I, I mean, I've got a couple of flint and steel floating around somewhere. I haven't gotten around to, uh, I haven't gotten around to really flexing and making some enchanted flint and steel, you know, with some, uh, mending and unbreaking. Those are the only two you can put on flint and steel, right? I'm trying to remember. I mean, look, we could go really cheap and only go two across instead of three. 
but I really deeply, passionately hate, hate portals that are too wide. Uh, in no small part because it makes it super difficult to link them up when the linking goes awry. Um, all right, we'll put that there since it doesn't matter. It's in the corner, and I'm not cheaping out on the corner. Okay, maybe I'm cheaping out on the corners a little bit. Let's uh, grab this guy. Oh, enchanted picks. How do I miss thee? Let me count the ways. One eternity. Two eternity. <laughs> Uh, I get to fill that corner with something. It's going to bother me. Alright. There we go. Uh, so that's one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to need a little more obsidian. Alright, I just need to find a lava source somewhere. And I can totally make this happen. Alright, so we got one, two, three. Bam. We just need what, two more? Yeah, two more. No big. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and take... This guy, and this guy. And we'll put him right there. We'll put him right there. I would rather not cheap out on the corners like that that bad, but hey. You, you do the best you can with what you got, right? Uh, Alright. While I wait for nighttime again... We'll, uh, we'll try to find a lava patch. I guess I should grab an iron bucket in case I actually find said lava patch, huh? <coughs> I still gotta fix that texture pack, too. The to-do list is getting longer than the to-done list. I've got to finish up the Wandering Trader. I already got one angry, uh, why is he giving me junk? Uh, because he's not quite right. No, the Wandering Trader is not quite right at all. Alright. Let's try this again. Well, I am curious why I didn't get that death message from Arcadius earlier. Hmm... Yeah. I almost want to start cooking up some more kelp so we got more fuel for the fire later. Um. <laughs> I. Okay. Don't don't ask me what just happened. I can't tell you what just happened. All right. Let's grab us a bucket, and we'll grab some dirt. All right. Let's see if we can find a lava pocket of some sort. I, I We came across so many that were sitting out in open fields that I'm tempted to check the uh, open field around the corner here. And then uh, in the meantime, we're waiting for the night to fall. While we look at the glitchy... Hi friend, you're lucky I don't need any beef. Mutton or pork. Beef is safe. <laughs> For now. <laughs> uh, too bad you can't take... Uh, turtle and vegetables in a bowl and make some turtle soup. 
No, I mean, I look, I, I joke a lot about adding food, and from a certain perspective, there is definitely some appeal to adding more foods to the game. Uh, my problem is, is that it really becomes a matter of a little bit of preference and a lot bit of what is easiest to uh, to harvest and come by. You know, those guys are quick and easy. You would think finding a lava patch would be easier in the night. Um, ooh, speaking of pork, this little piggy went to the market. Hey. No, running around with just the torch in hand is probably not the smartest thing. All right, let, let's start making our way carefully through the swamp and see if we can't see some slimes. Although, I just realized how dark it is on, uh, on the live stream. Right. I definitely, I need to do something about that. Got pumpkins. I could make some pumpkin pie. Hello, slimes. Oh, come on. Actually, I got the sugar cane and the pumpkin, too. I could definitely make a mess load of pumpkin pie. No, I'm not going to try to make that my, my full-on meal. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Bouncers are coming. Hi, friend. Okay, let's deal with you guys first. Then. Well, that, that didn't go as planned. I also need to get a more ready supply of arrows. Uh, maybe... I, I think Medic said something about getting a... Uh, a mob farm going, or a uh, an iron farm going already. Because if he does, then I can start working on the... Uh, the... Uh, general mob farm, which would help with a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, buddy. Into the... Yeah, that's it. Come on. Follow me into the water. Follow me into the water where your explosions do nothing but maybe kill a couple of lily pads I don't care about. There we go. Tss. Ha! All right, can we get your uh, your friend? No, I don't want to keep playing with those guys because the whole point is come. There you are. No, you are not a slime. You are most definitely not a slime. Nope, 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 nope. Run away! I saw green moving in the in the in the yeah. There you are. Okay. Hi, friend. Arr. Hey. Oh, seriously? Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Keep switching over to the sword like I got mending on it or something. That ain't yet. Alright, friend. Let's do this. Oh. I don't like that neighborhood. I would like another one. Uh, those are the wrong kind of greens. 
Could, could I get the hoppy greens, not the uh, exploded greens? Come on, jumpy jumpy. Alright, let's try to get you two to do the same deal with the water at least. I mean, assuming some, assuming some jerk with a trident doesn't come out of the water. Ah! Oh, what happened to my pants? What happened to the armored leggings? I, I figured I should clarify that. Come on. Into the water. Yeah. Uh oh, hey. You have some nice leggings. W would you like would you care to share? Nope, those are the wrong kind of green. Hey buddy. Sharing is caring. Got some protection pants, but uh, or pants, boots. Oh, come on. Why? This is not the time to be doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh. Are you for serious? I hear two. Ah, no! 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 <laughs> Break contact! Snack! When did that crater happen? Or is that from earlier? Hi, friend. Alright. Well, that was not fun. Snacky, snacky. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Absolute shame. Come on. No? Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to go clear this out of all the other critters that I really didn't want. Come on, Legolas. There we go. I'll take that. Wait, did somebody else shoot at me? Hello? Nope. Okay. Wait, why are there two of you guys here now? 
Never mind. I don't want to know. Somebody get started on their uh, scoot farm. Ow! I thought we. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a burn. Burn. All right, where is? Seriously, only got four arrows left. All right, let me see if I can uh, dig up some flint and feathers. Plenty of sticks floating around, and I know I saw a bunch of chickens earlier, so, uh... Hi, friend. Oh! No! <sighs> Every mining session, creepers destroy more and more beach. For just two dollars a day, you too can save the Minecraft beach. Help the turtles maintain a habitat. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what that was all about. Uh, yeah, that's at least part of the part of it. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, good. I'm done trying to stuff my face full of ravioli. I'm, uh, oh, yeah. I'm voice chat. Uh, Let's see. That's an extra bow, and that one's good enough for the moment. Although, I would like to replenish that soon. We'll put some raw mutton there. We'll put some raw pork there. I don't know why I'm going through all this effort to make sure that we uh, thoroughly organize. <laughs> I, I may switch to this golden sword soon, too, because that actually has mending. I mean, I hate that it's like four attack, uh, but... It has mending on it. Uh, come over to the uh, uh, community village project. We have a uh, artificer that will sell you mending services for <laughs> thirty emeralds. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping to get a little more slime before I headed back. Oh, uh, that's right. I need. We've already deposited. Uh, one and forty something back at base. What one, one stack and forty some odd blocks or more? No, no, one in one full stack and forty seven like balls. Not yeah, not, yeah, not no. I, I would like to have a larger backlog floating around. Yeah, no. Uh, I think the plan is to open that portal there and try and connect it. Uh, at least until we can get a proper. Uh, yeah, we we just need uh, uh, three more obsidian if you happen to have it on you. I don't, but since I was too busy stuffing my face with ravioli to notice I was going in the completely wrong direction, <laughs> I'm back at base now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm not running ten minutes in the wrong direction. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Um. So if we have any here, I'll grab it. I don't see any... I don't have any in mine. Let's check. But again, I don't have much of anything in my store. Check the community down here. I don't know why I bothered dyeing the pants. I, they're, they're not going to last before I get back. Not, not, without some, uh, not without some enchanting, but... Let's see if I can at least find a... If I can find a lava hole, I can ferry some uh, lava back and forth and get the portal opened up on this side. Oh, nope. 
Maybe? I should not do that without a door for breathing. Which, if, you're, if you've never played Minecraft, probably strikes you as the weirdest thing to say. And all the pro Minecrafters are like, oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> no, all the pro Minecrafters are like, noob, you need a stack of doors. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. If you need more than one door, then, uh, you know, you're not quite doing it right. This is early. Oh, a lot of doors. You need more doors? That's right. Bet you with these deep, dark caves. Is that another swamp? Oh. Ow. I mean, we only passed how many how many little lava puddles along the way over here, and uh, yeah. Now, now that I could really use one, um, you know, it would be slightly helpful. There's a little exploring today. I, I also only found the one little slime. Uh, we might not. I'm going to do everyone's chest. <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't look like we have it. I'm like 90% sure I don't have any in my base. If I did, it would be in one of the chests not over the furnaces. Oh, there we go. Where? Medical savior. Here we go. <laughs> well, you don't have any. I've already oh. checked yours. Okay. <laughs> I checked mine, I checked yours, I checked community, and I came across the street and I checked the medics. Uh, how many did you need? Three? I think it was just three. No, don't die on the way over here. <laughs> Wanna check that before I run 2,000 blocks? I mean... <laughs> Wait, because you wouldn't walk 2,000 more? Just saying. I'm missing my elytra right now, man. Uh, I believe we're all missing Elytra right now. I mean, as much as I like doing this... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trying to... I mean, this this giant hills and stuff, trying to get the donkey to go up and down the hills is like... Wait, did I not hear another chicken? I did hear another chicken. Come here, feathers. <sighs> Only five feathers out of that? Come on. Any other day, I'd be inundated with feathers, but now that I need to, you know, make some arrows or something, it's like, ah, no feathers for you. All right, I got to figure out where the portal is again. I wandered off in search of lava, and I am lost. Lost in the wilderness. Look, I just know that when I run across Shrek, I've gone too far. <laughs> and it's not 2,000 blocks. Uh... I believe it was 27 where our base camp is. And our base is at negative one, so it's more like 3,000. <laughs> so. Alright. Uh, am I going to have to go straight back to the beach to figure out where the. Oh, come on. I should not be this lost. Do you need to make another campfire and smoke signal oh. for yourself? Uh, you know, you joke. <laughs> I wasn't really joking. <laughs> I probably just need to make a ginormous pillar and light a fire on top of it. Come on, guys. Feathers! Feathers! Uh, Voodoo Beard has a data pack that uh, causes the chickens to shed feathers. So every time they would normally drop an egg, there's like a 10 or 20% chance that they drop a feather instead. 
Well, here's my question. Why can't I shear a chicken like I do the sheep? I mean, seriously, I can pluck a chicken. Oh. Uh... Where am I even? The wrong direction. You need to be. <laughs> hmm? 27, I believe. Oh. 2,700, I believe. Is oh. I looped around a little too. Oh, lava! Hey! Hey! Oh, I only brought one bucket with me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. We'll make it work. Let's not keep that on the hot bar. Thank you very much. That would be a very unfortunate accident. <laughs> and no, I wasn't saying I died today. I was saying we died so much the other day when oh. we were all together. I had to make a new flint and steel when I got back because I couldn't figure out where mine had gone to. Oh, <laughs> oops, sorry. So you've got two in your inventory. So I'm just no, I just curious. have the one. Oh. Maybe he's got mine. Ooh, oh well. It's not like they're hard to come with. Well, that too. Any feathers? Oh, and you were asking if Meg's got the iron farm up. Um, he did, and then it broke, and he's having to move it up into the air. Uh, yeah, you got to keep. Uh, you got to make a perimeter of so many blocks. I forget how many. Uh, you can do that, or you can put buttons on all the spawnable surfaces within that radius, uh, assuming that the problem is the golems are spawning in places not in the chamber. No. no oh, was, okay. I don't, I don't have no idea what was happening. To be honest. He, he knew what was going on. Or was um, the problem that they were counting as a part of the main village and therefore taking up, uh, oh, there's my spoke signal. Again, I don't, I don't know what was happening. Um, so anyway, during the move to take everything from underground to above ground, he uh, he lost his name to Zombie. Oh. So he needed another name tag, so I spent the first half of the day fishing to get another name tag. <laughs> And then I spent the. Oh, 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 oh! Poor you, spending all that time fishing. Oh, I know, I know. It was such a chore. I can't mm -hmm. believe you asked me all that. Yeah, I, it, it's such a strain to ask you to go fishing. All right. Mm -hmm. I better be getting paid in some diamonds or something for all this work. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I spent an hour trying to get a, a mending villager out of the one lone villager everyone keeps forgetting is in that house by himself. Oh. <laughs> well, we've got the... We moved three villagers from the breeder that's down at the bottom of the hill. Okay. Uh, I'm just made the iron farm. And then we've got one buried somewhere that Medic tried to save. And then you had the one that I blocked into a, a, a workshop at the very beginning when we first got hmm. to the village. I'm surprised you guys Every haven't moved uh, the breeder and all that over to the community center. No, we're, we're going to leave everything there. Okay. I think is the plan. Just moving villagers. Yeah, you, you don't need to tell me about moving villagers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um. That, I don't know what we're doing. I have no idea how that's going to work out. Yeah. Blueprint wise. But, um, we don't want to bog it down with all the crazy fun dealers. So. But anyway. Hi. I, I, okay. Don't make it pretty, man. Come on, man. Pretty, pretty place. I don't know. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying something. Again, I don't know what the problem is. Um. I don't know what the problem is. Um. So I did that. What else One, did two. Uh, I don't know why the rain is so loud. And I, do, I, I don't know if that's a function of... Uh, 
being in the swamp or what? You're having trouble hearing Arcadius because he is also low in my side, and I don't know if that's him or me or both. It's probably me. I don't want to sleep to get rid of the rain because I, I'm hoping that since mobs will spawn in the rain, I'll get some slime while I'm around here. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Oh, I am definitely louder than the rain. I'm usually not the one being accused of being loud, too. <sighs> well, at least I'm not singing in the rain. I think we can all be happy about that. Yeah, I know. I know, that was bad. <laughs> Yeah, something, something is... I, I don't know what changed the story of my life. Nah. Sound leveling happens. Look at Hollywood. They can't even get it right nowadays. Uh, I... I yeah, I believe that's kind of a, a, a... Design choice, I believe they're calling it now. Uh, something, some... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which... Something, something, artistic choice, something, something, uh... Let, let them hear all the gunshots and explosions, but, uh, make sure they can't hear anything else, because like, you don't want them to know how bad the writing was. <laughs> you know, you joke, but there there are days that I wonder if that, that really isn't it. I'm watch- uh, I was watching a review of the, uh, the fourth Matrix movie, and, uh... Uh, some very, very unkind, but not entirely untrue things were said. Although I haven't seen it yet. So I, I, I'm speculating on the untrue part. But it's a reasonable speculation. If you... <laughs> well, I mean, considering you're talking about a franchise... Well, no fault to counter. Uh, you're talking about a franchise that should have stopped at you know the first. The one. first one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's the whole. The first one should really have been the one, <laughs> and um, even then, it, it's like. Oh, what was that? What was Roger said in the pre-show for DTNS? He's like, "Did you see the first three movies?" Yeah, that's about a quarter of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of rather pointed comments about how you got Keanu Reeves, who's currently playing John Wick and is still capable of doing the fighting stunts, as evidenced by John Wick. Uh, why is he spending most of his time spamming the block button? Uh, it, it seems like one of the more frequent moves he does is hold up his hands and make a vaguely something gesture of uh, something and it ends up blocking instead of actually doing, you know, something useful. Blocking or pushing, or it, it's a weird, like, force push type deal. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys took all the gravel with you, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we took uh, a bunch of the supplies back. Uh, alright. So I guess I won't be making arrows right now. Well, I mean, you can get more. There's an ocean right there. Yeah. Yeah. Typically made out of gravel. I could go vil visit the village to get some. That's 3,000 blocks away. I was really hoping to get more slime before I turned around and headed back, but I kind of also expected 
to be here for a half hour and then voyage back. But, uh, eh, life, how it goes sometimes. Seriously, it's nighttime and raining? Where's the slimes? I'm, look, I'm about ready to get a fishing pole. <sighs> Sit here, drink my beer, and go fishing. Cheers. Mm. You found the good ramen? Did you find the banana bird beer too? Gonna need it this weekend. <laughs> Why, is there more going on now? Or? Supposed to be a uh, stay home this cold kind of weekend. Uh, I, I thought according to Rayest, it was always that kind of weekend. It's cold. Uh, yeah, no, the, the weatherman agrees. Oh, okay. I Do you have the coordinates for the uh, portal over by the main base house? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's breaking the scaffolding under your feet. Uh, 40, 42. No, no, this time the answer is not, in fact, 42. This time. You tell me the answer is always 42. What kind of heathen are you? Alright, I'm going to leave this flint and steel over here in the chest by the portal. And I'm going to keep looking in the dark for slime. Here, slime. Here, slimy. What was that? Oh, 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 oh! I haven't slept in a while. I haven't slept in too long. I, ah! No! No! Go away. I, I didn't vote for you. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Go away, creeper. Not you two. No. Come on. Come on. Why? Why? Seriously. Seriously, all of you. All of you. Oh, blow. Yeah, that's, that's it. Blow. Did you get the phantom? Oh, the phantom survived that, too. Okay, fine. Oh, oh yeah. Got a phantom head out of that jerk. Where's your friends? <laughs> I hear you. I'm supposed to be looking for slime, not dodging phantoms. Ow! Oh, oh, oh my sword broke. Come on. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I hear not phantoms around here too. Oh, come on. Hi, friend. There we go. Recharge my sword. Come on. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Ah, come on. Hmm. 
Who's left? I feel like there's at least one more of you. Does the shield not block them? Oh, oh, come on. I didn't need you to. Oh, I need new shield. <laughs> I just noticed I need new shield. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. That's it. No, no, no. Hit your buddy. Hit your buddy. Hit your buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. I don't even... Uh, Arcadius, can you bl bring Reyes to blue bag? Uh, I, I'm in the middle of the lightning storm. I just had... Hey, don't, don't talk to me about that. I don't even know where all my stuff is. And I had that diamond pick on me. I, I had a oh! Oh, look! Oh, look! There's a bunch of slime. Huh. Huh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. You can go away, Creeper. I would really like to find my stuff, but you guys are what I actually came out here for. Did he blow up some of the slime? He blew up some of the slime. Jerk. Come on, die quick. I gotta go pick up my stuff. Before some skeleton goes walking around in my boots. Actually, I think that ship has already sailed. Oh, yeah, the screen is dark. I, I keep intending to fix it, but uh, I never remember until I'm in the middle of a stream. And standing alone in the middle of a swamp in a rainstorm does not seem the time to, uh, to change that sort of stuff. And I also noticed that... Uh, it doesn't seem to, when I change the settings on here, it doesn't seem to affect what goes out to the stream either. Um. Where did I run, where did I bravely affect a strategic retreat for, uh, my stuff? Ow! No, no, I have no shield. I have no shield. Ah! Geneva Convention prevents you... Oh, oh. Hey, Axonim. How's it going? <laughs> <sighs> nice segue there. So, now I have two sets of stuff missing. This is fine. It's fine. I'm fine. We're all fine here. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what? Let's cut down on the cut down on the frustration. can find somewhere over here is the stuff from both of my deaths I think I need to return to the uh, data pack that puts in chat where you where you last died uh, <laughs> yeah it says you died at coordinates uh, go get your stuff hey <laughs> 
Oh, stop that. Oh, there's a couple of arrows at least. Now if I could only find my bow. Uh here stuff. Okay. Now I need this. I was gunning to you and a drown with a trident knocked my boat out from under me. Oh. Did you get his so trident? I'm trying No. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to fight him without Aqua Affinity or Depth Strider. <laughs> And every time I block with my shield, he's like chinking away my shield. Yeah. And I'm having to like scoot a little closer and it was a nightmare. <laughs> All right. I was leaving here and I think I went this general direction. Which way did I affect my strategic retreat? Over that way. Yeah, that way. That way there. Oh, well, there's some XP, so I was obviously somewhere in here. Oh, <laughs> there's the stone sword from earlier. Uh, oh, there's my slime, so this isn't a complete waste. That's the important part, right? The sword and the slime. Uh, not this sword. The mending sword that is... Hey, are those my pants? Yeah, they're orange. Hey! Hey! That's my... S Are you seriously attacking me with my own sword and pants? Probably. They do that. They're mean. Here, I brought food. <sighs> Where's the rest of my stuff, then? I should know. Oh, I, I've died multiple times here, Axonim. I'm about to die again if I don't find my food. Well, I brought food. Here. Yeah, but that... It's in the uh, second box back there. It's a stack of 64 baked potatoes. Oh, with my luck, it's over there with that very suspicious-looking uh, skeletal horse. All right. Come on, hitboxes. Help me out. Or is this all I'm getting? Because some... Jerkity jerk. Kept me around here too long. Uh, nope. Nope. Come on, man. <gasps> Is that my stuff? Are you my stuff? No, that's just some zombie flesh. Which, yes, I am that hungry. <laughs> That's a hard nope. Where did I wander off to? Is it on the other side? Did I go that way more? It couldn't have been that far from here. Because the skeleton wearing my stuff was over in this spot. Probably going to be gone soon, too. Don't bother. Uh, I do not see... I do not see my stuff at all. There's the portal that I was fleeing from. Clearly in this general vicinity from the XP, and that's where the skeleton that had my pants was. So where? All right, no, I definitely remember coming by the blasted out tree. Or has it been too long? Are we at that point? Ah! Again. Um, yes, I walked under the tree with the 
trapped horse. <sighs> well, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Well, I didn't know I was over <laughs> by him. He was on top of the tree. Out of sight. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I just I just wanted to finish the day with something simple. That's all I wanted to do was finish the day with something simple. Go kill some slime. How hard could that be? Well, you know, did this the other night. It's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember the other night? No. Much like Pepperidge Farms, I remember. Uh, no, it wasn't a tree creeper. It was a, a trapped skeletal horse. So I jumped at the lightning bolt and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then the rest happened. Actually, why well, don't we get enough iron? Yeah, I just brought a stack with me. Oh, I should probably go ahead and make another shield. Probably harvest some more lumber if I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, I was just about to do that. Alright. Where was I when that last mishap happened? Down the beach, somewhere. No, those are the turtles. Going to come through with a na bunch of name tags and... Oh, there they are. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh. There we go. Who's got my stuff? Give me my helmet! Uh oh. Come on, guys. There you go, there you go. Get into a fight with each other. Oh, come on! Oh, I got three of them. Save any of the horses? Uh, there was one over there. I don't have a saddle, so it doesn't matter, but... <laughs> <laughs> Why were you asking if I saved any of the horses? Go get your lead. Uh -huh. Lead them on. <laughs> I should say I don't have any saddles on me. Got plenty of saddles from fishing today. So. I'm guessing that uh, that forest of arrows is where I was. Yeah, where was this? Towards the beach. Uh, oh, come on. Dude, where did you go? I hear you. Oh, it's nighttime. Somebody sleep. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's. What other stuff can I collect? 
Or did you already pick up a bunch of my stuff? No, I got some arrows. That's all I got. Then where did the rest of my stuff go? I'm looking. Sure it was over here? Yeah. Or did it take too long and despawn already? Has it been five minutes? Uh, it hasn't been five minutes. Have you turned? Ooh, have you turned on hitboxes? Yep. Oh. Yep. Are you sure you didn't uh, pick anything up? I have a horse head and three arrows. Here you go. You want some arrows? <laughs> Here. Also a horse head. Okay, so I... Doggone it. I have lost... Yeah. Yeah. Doggone it. Well, let's head back and get... Well, I know it's been five minutes since the, the first death. Uh... <laughs> So all whatever whatever I lost in that first death is lost and gone. And that makes me sad. I'm always hungry when I'm sad. Hey, dude, you're between me and a slime. Get out of the way. That's what I came here for. I just wanna I just wanted the squishy guys. Look. Step away from me. And everybody's happy. Except the slime. I'm also kind of mad I lost that mending sword. It was gold. Come on. Yeah, but it was also mending. <laughs> it was gold. It did four damage. <laughs> it was solid gold. <sighs> Killing this one. And right about now, I, I'd much rather have mending anyway. Come here, little guy. Oh, I don't know where you can get it. Oh, multiple little people. I got some leather boots donated to me. <laughs> Are they orange? No, they can be. Oh no, I, I thought you'd actually found one of my leather boots. Oh yeah. Uh, well, definitely since the first one. I, uh, since the skeletal horses got me, it shouldn't have been that long. Yeah, but how much of your stuff did you have left? <laughs> uh, I had twice as much slime as I currently have. Well, next question would be: Does the destruction, like the last way to bring the guys in, count as a? Uh, I don't know. That's actually a really good question. That blast could have been what did you in. Stuff, I mean. No! Go away! I don't want to. Look, come on, man. Go away. Go away. Go. Away. go. No. I don't like kids. Go away. Uh, oh, yeah, because I still have the hitboxes on. I'm not sure what keeps the shield down faster. A creeper or a uh, trident? Uh, I think it's the trident. It also depends on what the trident was enchanted with. Cause they, because we're in hard mode, they have a chance to generate a, an enchanted trident. Ow. 
<laughs> Enchanted with Stabby. Oh, come on. No, no. Go away. Go away. I, I don't want to anymore. I'm done. Slash teleport home. One stabby for each uh, prong. Ah, come on, jerks. How come you guys never hit each other with your own stupid arrows anymore? Oh, you broke my shield. Hey, little buddy. Oh, hey. Hi, friend. Are you here to replenish my supply? Uh, no, the Disco Creeper can go somewhere else. Ah, oh, you bum. Also kind of mad because I had one of those uh, what you call horse heads. Um, I told you I picked it up for you. Oh, I thought you said you had one because I saw you kill one of the other horses. Oh my god! Ah, oh, crikey! I have arrows for you. <laughs> the arrows and the horse head you dropped. And boots, since you don't have any. <laughs> you have enough leather in there and iron. You need to go ahead and fully equip yourself again. Yeah, I know. I was really hoping to, to find some... Slime! Slime! Ooh, slime where? Right here. Oh, get him! Hi, friend. Just wanted a few minutes uh, uh, of slime hunting. Just some uncomplicated, nothing hard. Do you remember this the other day with three of us? Was that your definition of uncomplicated? Well, we were also <laughs> running around like the Keystone Cops. I mean, well, okay. That's, that's... Last night we weren't doing much because I couldn't find you for nothing. Well, you, of course you can find me last night. I was working on the on my guitar. No, what about in here? Like... <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of which, um, you ready for the most frustrating thing that ever happened to me? Oh, I already have a bow. That's enchanted. I don't know. Some guy gave it to me. I don't use bows. All right, it's about to uh, it's about to get fixed up too. Um, so I've been struggling deeply to get the pickup cavity in this guitar shielded appropriately. Uh, tried copper leaf, that did not work out. Tried to find copper tape, that did not work out. Reyes got me this wonderful copper pen. Um, so it's a copper suspension and then you, you paint in where you want the copper and then it dries and you get nothing but copper left. Um. I had taken the cap off with the intent to shake it up a little bit more right before applying. And, um... It's actually not any better. You know what's missing? The cotton nib. Because the cotton nib fell out of the stupid pen when I shook it. Isn't it supposed to be? Jerk. Uh... It's not supposed to fall out when you shake it, but it is supposed to be removable so you can reverse which side's which. 
So we're down to aluminum tape, which was like my fifth option for this project, but I will finish it. Oh, that's not the button I want. That's the button I want. There we go. All right. Let's put that away before more unfortunateness happens. Let's put these guys away. Let's get a little more leather. Let's put away the string and the bones and the seeds and the spider eyes for some reason. Uh, the raw beef definitely should be cooked. The gunpowder. The zombie flesh, which is about to become... <laughs> uh, 9, 18. Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's get a little more zombie flesh, or some more leather going right there. You don't want that stack of 64 baked potatoes? Uh, I've still got some pork chops left. Okay. Come on. Right. Fine. Fine. I thought we had some more of the, uh, the yellow herd flowers right over here, but apparently not. And I'm not going to wait. I'm not wasting bone meal for that. I refuse to. What am I missing? Pants. Shirt. Oh yeah, all my shields are destroyed now too. Um, let's go ahead and make another, another, another shield. All right, that's half the orange. There it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't think me thing last night's skeleton. <laughs> uh, w w was he helping out? Mm -hmm. There we go. Important stuff. Got to make sure your armor looks right. That's right. I can't afford iron, so I'm wearing white leather. <laughs> I was always taught dress for the job you want, not the job you have, right? That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that is that like when you see those pictures of the uh, the the cat um, sitting where where one of the where you'd normally see one of the lions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fudged on his resume. All right. I think that's as funny as that. Uh... Those little memes where it's like when you lie on the resume but still get the job and it's got yeah. the, uh, the little black pug in a uh, cow pasture full of black cows. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. mad about losing that diamond pick. I guess the problem was that I, I if I could have found it in time <sighs> I just couldn't figure out exactly where I'd uh, bravely run away. Away, away. Oh, wait, I don't have gold anymore. Never mind, I'm not going into the nether. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready to say, eh, let's pop in the nether and see what's on the other side of this. Uh, nope. Five. Huh? You got five ingots here. You can make a uh, helmet. Don't tempt me. We also have two breastplates here already made. Do we still have two breastplates? I thought I didn't realize we did. Or maybe I, I, I could have even seen them an hour ago, but, like, I don't know. You 
probably saw them two seconds ago. They're in the second chest. <laughs> no, because I wasn't looking for them. Where you put your sheep head? Come on now. The, the, this is this is this is like when you're looking for stuff in the fridge. You don't see the stuff. You just either see or not see what you were looking for. Just right next to your orange dye. <laughs> Look, I, I'm I'm gonna remember this conversation. <laughs> When I hear somebody yelling at you about similar stuff. Oh, that's right. I lost all those uh, chicken feathers and sticks for the the arrows. Okay, well, that's a tragedy right there. Because that's something we aren't... Uh, <laughs> we aren't... Oh, ha an overabundance of? Yeah. Overabundance? No, we just short supply all over the place. <laughs> About ready to just make a Fletcher over at the village. <laughs> <laughs> well, since bad. we don't have since we don't have the the villager cap to deal with, we can definitely have you know one or two random dudes that aren't our normal thing. But uh, hey, come here, I'm gonna be give me your feathers. I'm gonna be so mad. What? The very first villager I make is gonna be like. The Restoration Arrow Villager. <laughs> Again, because we don't have the PvP turned on on the server, I can't hit it with, hit on you guys with it. So it does me do good, and I'll never get the harming arrows. <laughs> uh, actually, if you've got a crossbow. Uh, you can make use of some of that stuff anyway. Really? Yep. You need multi-shot on a crossbow. Uh, and, and although, honestly, the, the way to do this is one of those overly convoluted things, but it is technically possible. Raze works at a video covering that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and the idea is you find an overhang that's like a block or two above you you sh uh that's no two blocks above you or so you shoot the overhang with the multi-shot crossbow so that way all three arrows are embedded in the block jump up to pick up the arrow again and then break the block and the remaining two will fall on you and do whatever it is that arrow normally does So he, so, but, but here's the thing. You get the original arrow back. So that means that's infinite arrows for, or effectively infinite arrows. All for a little extra work. No, no, you need to burn. Not me. Oh, oh you couldn't have give me that ax. You couldn't have dropped that ax. You had to die before you dropped that axe. Give me your gold. You want, me to put the, you want me to put the hammer down? Is that what you just said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> All right. This was supposed to be just a simple slime hunt. Topaz. Uh, why are we getting two stacks of leather going? No harm in having it. My leather, my armor's halfway done, so like we won't need it before another night or two. Oh, somebody just donated a gold chest piece to me. I was gonna <laughs> take a peek into what's on the other side of the nether now. 
Did you already look? I did. Oh. You go take a look. I didn't explore. I literally just poked my head inside and came back. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to go far. Not like this. <laughs> Not with the way today's been going. Like, I didn't even, like... I do not know if Arcadius got sand. Yes. And then promptly died. Um, oh. <laughs> is is it is it that you need sand or that you need glass? I ask only because a couple of the uh, the which we call it villagers would solve the glass problem, but we've been round and round that a few times. Hello, Beach Duck. Okay, so you 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 need legit sand. Sand or red sand? Because I found a. Why not? Are are you having problems with voice meter again? Probably on the phone. Uh. Oh 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 yeah. Um, that is most likely because of your Microsoft account settings. If you've not validated that you are an adult, it puts you in the child settings where you uh, you, you have to uh, have someone authorize your ability to chat. All right, then, I don't know. That was the first thing that I found that seemed like it might have been close to your problem. Uh, unless you have the ability to chat and communicate turned off. Because you and I both share a certain... No, no, it is definitely with her Microsoft account. Because everybody, everybody else is good. <laughs> oh. So we're just, like, literally in the bottom of a hole here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so there is a whole lot of absolutely nothing. On this side of the nether port. Well, not nothing. That ain't nothing. Hello, quartz. Huh? Uh, I see observers in our future. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. around here somewhere. Oh, let me go. Uh, options. Video. Let's do that. That at least make it a little bit. No. Um, sorry, I keep forgetting and the nether makes this bright. Make it bright. Okay, those noises are not cool. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Hello, quartz. I swear, if something murders me on the other side, I'm going to quit. Alright. I guess we'll, uh, we'll dig a tunnel out this way at some other point in time. Although, I don't think that's actually... Technically the right uh, the right place, but uh, it's close enough. I know what I want to do. Hmm. 
There we go. That looks horrible. We'll fix that later. Alright. See if I can survive the trek back through the swamp. And, uh... Let me turn hitboxes off again. I didn't mean to leave them on that long. I just wanted to use them to help me find my stuff. I was kind of hoping for a gravel deposit uh, somewhere nearby on that. Although since I gave up, there's probably a gravel deposit like two blocks through the wall. <sighs> and the portal that we we were planning, we are, were, are, at least as far as I know, still planning on using as our main nether portal, uh, just on the other side of the mountain range where we settled. Um, that portal, <laughs> that portal has a bastion next to it. And, uh, yeah. It's also in the middle of a basalt delta. Let's put the quartz away. The chicken, the feathers, another egg. See if we can uh continue to Oh. I guess there is plenty of gravel nearby. Let me go get a shovel. And a door. Cause thirteen arrows is not gonna get me through the next night. Door. And a shovel. Guess I shouldn't be too stingy with the uh, iron since we do technically have an iron farm. You know, I've got to remember to get those guys back at some point. guys would have given me plenty of flint because that wasn't what I wanted. But today, because it's that kind of day. Which one of you two is making that noise? Oh, oh my. Somebody's got a nice box over here. Did I just see turtles? You did see turtles. Why? Because we're over by the ocean? Mm-hmm. No, seriously. We're by the ocean, and they like hanging out here. But they were in buckets. No, they weren't. Boats, whatever. Uh, yes, they were in boats, because they wandered into the boats that we were keeping the... No, no ducks. They wandered into the boats that we were keeping the foxes in, and we figured we'd rather have turtles in the boats than uh, drown, or zombies, or creepers. The turtle's not going to squish the fox? No, the turtle is not going to squish the fox. 
even though it looks like he should. Come on, Flint. I really could use a uh, fortune shovel right about now. Doesn't Arcadius tap him? Uh, I don't think he does on him. Give me the gravel, or give me the give me the flint. Give me the flint. Of course, once I need the gravel, then I'm gonna stop getting the. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'm not gonna keep doing this on stream, running down an iron shovel. I'll just put the gravel back in there for the now, and grab five feathers. And some sticks. There we go. Oh, that's right. Somebody slept. Should I have not? Uh, the slimes only come out at night. But I, I will need to sleep here for in a minute anyway, because... Uh, I, I don't want phantoms to descend upon me and cause another frustrating evening of dodging phantoms and spiders and creepers, oh my. <gasps> oh no. And that's why we sleep. Because otherwise you get blown up by creepers in the broad daylight? Mm-hmm. I don't know where he came from. Uh, he came from Moyang. So I guess I shouldn't put the camouflage creepers in. Depends. Do you like breathing? <laughs> I don't know. Depends. Did Jubba have peanut butter? Not my problem. Uh, well, yes, to an extent. And no. Uh, to an extent. Uh, I can't remember if it was Voodoo Beard or somebody else that had a data pack that. Or maybe it, maybe it was somewhere in Planet Minecraft. I can't remember where I saw it. I can't remember anything anymore. Hi, who am I again? Um, anyway, it set up camouflaged creepers. So the creepers that you find in the caves are gray. The creepers that you find in the on land are green based on the biome. So they're a darker green in the swamp. They're a lighter green in the plains. Um, yeah. Yeah, so so there there were some uh, dark, uh, dark, uh, deep, deep cave creepers and better camouflage creepers and yeah. The, the, the only one that I'm highly likely to actually do that I threaten every now and again, uh, I am highly highly likely to actually set up the bigger phantoms because that doesn't change the difficulty of anything. It just makes them easier to hit. And it's where the size of the phantom is determined by um, how long it's been since you last slept. So the longer you go without sleeping, the bigger the phantom that comes after you. Which is funny, coming from the person who did not sleep earlier. Well, yes, because that's kind of the whole point of what I'm doing right now. Just saying. 
You I, I'm trying. Got jokes. I, I'm trying to get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I'm trying to get my Minecraft character as close to me as I can in real life, and uh, so no sleeping's allowed. We have added quite a few creeper divots to this uh, little bit of swamp here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... There is a cap to how big they get. I just don't remember how big that cap is. So, no, you're not going to get the, the Godzilla Creeper. Um, although, uh, I think it was on one of the one of the Patreon discords that I'm a part of. Um, <laughs> apparently, this guy's wife accidentally ordered... Two, two calendars for <gasps> what? That wasn't even right the amazing part. Right by our village is a giant ravine, and it's got the white powdery stuff that I think means the other stuff is nearby. Uh, I'm gonna need more information than stuff. That's all I got. I'll let you know when I find it. Powdered snow, tuft, calcite. That. Well, tuft doesn't get you anything. Diorite doesn't get you anything, but calcite does. Yes. And that gets you a geode, and make sure you don't break the budding geode blocks. Because they they do not... That's how you get stuff to not grow back. Well, I was actually looking for Satan, so... There's plenty of sand where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. The calcite is a really nice looking block. And if they weren't going to make it as plentiful, I really wish they would have made a crafting recipe for it. Like, I'm not sure what the recipe would be, though, except bone meal and something else. Um, because it's nether quartz and cobble to get diorite. Uh, diorite and cobble to get andesite. I don't remember what the recipe for granite is, though. But I mean, all right. So if it's nether quartz and... If it's nether quartz and, uh, and, and, uh, quart, if it's nether quartz and cobble for diorite, then maybe it should be nether quartz, or bone meal and cobble for, um, calcite. Did, did I just screw that up so much that everybody's as confused as I was? Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as we're all on the same same confused page, I can live with that. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched Clue in forever. Maybe we need to add that to the next uh, binge. I don't know. Has Arcadia seen Clue? I'm pretty sure he has. Um. Maybe I... Oh, I wonder if I can do that for a uh, for one of those uh, Amazon Prime watch party things. Uh, Calcite or Tuft? Because Tuft was originally supposed to be around the geodes and then they moved that to be another random stone that appears in veins at certain levels and under certain conditions. Uh, and I want to say calcite was only around geodes, I think. I'm like 90% sure. Okay, maybe 80% sure. I 
because I, I know one of the ones that was originally going to be uh, a geode only thing ended up making its way into other stuff and I think that was the the tuft and calcite is only around geodes but that actually doesn't really change the original statement of it would be kind of nice if there was a way to to craft it you know i mean isn't that part of minecraft if we if we can craft diorite we should be able to craft calcite and just because of the name i would expect bone meal or bone to be a part of it bone meal and cobble or bone meal and uh gravel probably bone meal and cobble That's another night slept through. Uh, yeah, at the outside of bone block and gravel. But I mean, but again, we come back to its uh, quartz and cobble to make diorite. Not a quartz block and cobble to make diorite. I mean, you need two of each. So it's a two by two crafting grid with two cobble, two quartz. So I can see doing the same, just, you know, two cobble, two bone meal. And that gets you, uh, and that gets you, uh, two blocks or four blocks of calcite. If I wasn't already backlogged as, as much as I am on, uh, changes that need to be made, like fixing the wandering trader which somebody was kind of asking why all you had was junk um i wasn't already already a little bit behind on that and some server update or uh, website updates and that kind of thing uh oh and the guitar um i'd look around and if nobody made that crafting recipe i'd probably add that as a data pack and publish it Because that, that really does, that does feel about right. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask if you'd put the uh, Wandering Trader voice voice pack in there, but the one that I have is only for, uh, only for Java. I don't, I have not yet figured out how to make that stuff work on Bedrock. And... I am fearing that it might be one of those you can't do that type things, which would be very, very sad. And the flip side of Mo Yang, you know, some of the stuff they do I absolutely love, and then there's the other stuff. Uh, if they're really looking for the high priority parody stuff, one of the high priority parody stuff would be the ability to uh, use data packs across the board that would be that would be super nice I, I think we could get the uh, I think we could get the community behind that especially the community of people who make data packs come on come on come on no 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 breathe Yeah, there, there are some uh, Wandering Trader decorations around the main base. Uh, I should be back there next week. I I, I want, we, we've got a, blo a, a block of slime blocks, a stack of slime blocks and a little extra. I was really hoping to, to deepen our supply a little bit before leaving this area. But I don't think that's going to happen. And uh, I just realized I don't know why I'm waiting for night. Reyes is going to sleep. Mm -mm. No? No, you're not going to sleep? No, or? I can't. Oh. Why not? I'm not somewhere where I have a bed. You didn't bring one with you? 
No, I thought you were wanting to not sleep, so. No, just that one night. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yes, yes, I am wanting to not sleep. Because I'm wanting slime blocks. Yeah, so I went ahead okay. and ran out to do things that did not ah. require the sleeping. Okay, appreciate it. Then I shall wait for the next night. In the meantime, I should do something a little more productive than run around and rambling. Run around rambling. Did you, uh... <laughs> did you s I forget where it was. All I remember is it was not the United States because their emergency services number was not 911. Um, someone called emergency services and... They became a part of the pilot program, no pun intended, where an AED was delivered via a drone. Whoa. Yeah. It was actually kind of cool. That's cool. I didn't see any of that. Yeah, that that was that was something that was something very interesting. So it, it's the first drone delivered AED. And, uh, and the person did survive. That's kind of cool. That is, that's very cool. Can you imagine saying that you're the first person <laughs> whose life was saved via drone delivery? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, on Daily Tech News Show, when they were talking about it, Sarah was wondering about, uh, whether or not we could deliver EpiPens that way, too. I can't speak for anywhere outside of the U.S., but with the way... Uh, with the way regulations are right now, you wouldn't be able to do that here in the States. Just because y you have to either be the owner of the EpiPen or trained in the delivery of an EpiPen. Um, that's not something that just anybody can deliver. Which I have very mixed feelings about. On the one hand, it's not exactly rocket surgery. On the other hand... It's not exactly <laughs> foolproof. <laughs> so what? Well, and it's one of those things like when you mess it up, it's not like a oopsie. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there. There's a little bit of a difference when you screw that one up, you know. Although to that end, what's the difference between that and an AD? They're already dead. You can't make them worse. I hate to tell you this, but if you need an EpiPen, there's only a matter of minutes before you and that person have something in common. Like, if you're that bad off, is it better to um, get some attempt than not have any? Maybe. Potentially. anaphylactic shock ain't no joke no on the other hand stabbing yourself with an EpiPen while you're trying to do something is no joke either something else that they had talked about that I wanted to bring up on stream that I was deeply certain I would remember. That thing. Mm-hmm. That thing. That thing that they talked about on one of the podcasts. No stabby! Because I only listened to a couple of them. Actually, it's been a while since I did an update, updated Bad podcast drown. listening thing. <laughs> Are you going to take his trident away? He didn't have a trident. I don't even know why I'm so interested me. in taking tridents because, I mean, it's not because like... Because you're obsessed with tridents. I think it's because of their rarity. That might be legit the only reason why. Because it's not something you can easily get or easily farm. I really shouldn't be in here without some torches. He says as he continues digging. Without torches. Without torches. Okay, just making sure. Yep. No, we got that right. Uh, 
Okay, there's the beach. Maybe I should uh, cook up some trees for charcoal for those torches. One. One sapling. I mean, I guess technically that's all I need, but still. It's the principle. Alright, come on, slimes. No more trapped horses creepers or whatever else we got. Oh, that's a sad job behind me. Oh, that was the other... Okay, I was trying to remember what else it was that I had lost so much of in those various misadventures, and uh, it was torches. I had about a stack of torches. That's to... unfortunate. Yeah. Like, where did my torch... Oh. <laughs> where did my torches go? Oh. Hello? Nope. Maybe I should not walk around with all the leather. This little slime went to the market. No? How much longer is night for? Uh, it just started. You literally couldn't sleep until relatively recently. Mm, okay. It's only 2030. You know I don't like those games. Would you like to uh, donate your armor to the uh, Coffee Craft Survival Fund? No? Oh. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. Is it enchanted? No. There we go. Fully repaired from a donation. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Seeing a lot of green, but not slimes. The creepy crawly kind of green? Nope. The it grows underwater green. Oh. Come on, I just want a little more. Just a little more. Oh, oh, you didn't have to bring the friend. No, no plus one. <laughs> okay. It was worth watching the, uh, the zombie get blown up. That, that was kind of worth it.
This little slime of mine. I, no, no, not you. Not you. Wrong green. At least in the water? Come on, man. Could you at least do that in the water? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Further out. Further out. There we go. There we go. Or you're going to blow up nothing but seagrass. Let's try this again. There's a cow stuck in the tree. Yes, I'm looking at you. You are utterly ridiculous. There we go. You're out of the tree. Oh, even Jeb is running away at that joke. Thanks. Appreciate that. Your support where I can. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. No, hit the spider, hit the spider, hit the spider. Come on. The zombie? There we go. There we go. You guys go over there and fight it out. Before I head out here. Oh, yep, nope. There's lots of people I did not want to meet Who on the beach. Who just badooped? Hmm? That's me. I just... Oh. Yeah, I, I don't hear the noises when I'm streaming because it goes into streaming mode. Ow! Ow! Go away! Just wait till Arcadius gets here. Beach behind you. Oh! Oh! Oh my. Ah! Come on, people. Um, uh, did you just get slain by a zombie? Was it the little guy? Yeah, I hate the little guys with a deep and abiding passion. Well, the little zombies, anyway. Oh, come on. I also hate the, the, that the creepers actually destroy some of the blocks. Like, couldn't you at least be like dynamite and leave something behind? Yeah, that's it. Come on. Out into the water. We're going to do this again. If they left everything behind, there'd be no consequences for you failing to kill them. Uh, yes there would. <laughs> you'd still yeah. have to, you'd still have to rebuild whatever they blew up. Yeah, for some people, that's not that big of a consequence. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll let you tell where I asked that. I said for some people. Ah. Oh, come on. Hawkeye, I am not. Oh, 
I, I do love when uh, I think it was on uh, Spoiler in Time. They were talking about the the latest uh, episode of the Hawkeye TV series, and uh, I can't remember if it was Brian or Tom, but one of them goes, "Well, I mean, it's still better than Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right?" Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, apparently, Falcon and the Winter Soldier like really did not go well at all. What did you did you like Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Well, accidents going. Though, those are fighting words, and I, I'm like, are they though? Are they fighting words or just honest words? some torches there yeah I've kind of fallen off with all of the uh oh oh not I've fallen <laughs> off with the Marvel stuff I really kind of got to the point where it felt like they were rewriting their previous successes with different characters um yeah. I don't I don't even know that it's so much that like some of the stuff has been amazing. Like I am told that the la the the latest Spider-Man exceeded anybody's wildest expectations, and that it was phenomenal. And I definitely look forward to going and seeing it. Um, originally, Falcon and the Winter so before before COVID happened and really screwed up the schedule. And there there's some speculation that that's why some of this is as rough as it is. Um. Falcon and the Winter Soldier was supposed to kick off the television for Extended Universe, and that was supposed to lead into the Doctor Strange movie. That hasn't happened yet. Um, and, and so that is also part of the problem, is that there's a lot of... Uh, it was what, was what was supposed to happen was... And then, uh, yeah, it was supposed to be Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, then the Doctor Strange movie was going to happen, which kicked off the whole Multiverse of Madness stuff, and... Yeah. Nah, for me, it's just, like... It's lost some of the... You never know who could die. Mm-hmm. Um, it... I don't like their stuff that sure like if we have time okay yeah I'll watch it I may have fun with some of it some of them um, not so much um um as to the b-list part here's the thing though <clears throat> Iron Man was one of those b-list Marvel properties that was never supposed to be as successful as it was Thor was a b-list property that apparently you get a helm mm. Apparently, you get a Helmsworth in there, and it helps make a good Avengers movie. Not so much on the solo, that. though. Um. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think oh. that's it, though. Because, like, is it Axonim? Are you talking about it's a B level property, or B -level or or cast? is it or is it the fact that as much as it is the problem that. The characters, Falcon and Winter Soldier, are not being used to their best effect. Or is it that they don't have the right actors in place for those roles? Because I'll, I'll grant you, there is writing that is so bad, no, but nobody could save it. Like, there, there, there are definitely roles that uh, I've seen, like phenomenal actors do and it just swallowed them whole because no no charisma is going to save that it's just not going to happen 
Uh, and then I've also seen some there where it's like, yeah, no, uh, that that just that really wasn't the right person for that part. That wasn't the right person for that movie. Like they're a great actor, but this was not the best place to use them. So, um, like I, I honestly was not digging the actors in those roles, even when they were supposed to be a good supporting role. Uh, I don't... Well, the Falcon wasn't the first pick for that spot. Oh, I didn't know that. And the way they wrote Bucky, I feel like they made him completely contingent on Cap. Okay, so you're saying that without Cap, it's really just never gonna... It's never gonna work right. Yeah, like... His his value because they made they made him seem really weak with some of the brainwashings like just the the treatment that they chose to give him he's a okay actor in that role I'm not saying in general but like in that role he's an okay actor oh yeah please please don't I'm not talking about the actors in general in any part of this particular criticism yeah. uh, most of them yeah, were just in, not the best for these roles. Like, Robert Downey Jr., you couldn't pick a better Tony Stark. Uh, no. And again, you throw a Hemsworth in a Thor role. The The biggest problem with the Thor standalone movies was not Hemsworth. It was the writing. And, and the only thing that made the first and third one enjoyable was Hemsworth. The second one, there was no saving that. Uh, that, that was just destined to swallow actors whole and maybe better luck next time. It also doesn't help that the premise was absolutely ridiculous and dumb and yeah. Getting way off topic. Mm -hmm. Back to where we were talking about. Which part? <laughs> what were we talking about? The B. What What are we classifying as a B rating right now? And what is it that currently you are currently not enjoying? Greatest and audience, whoever's being yeah. with us right now, and whoever else is out there. Currently not enjoying as far as what? The the characters, the actors, the the job they're doing with them? I think we've established that we're not talking about the actors themselves. I think we're talking okay. about the story. I think that's where we're at. So, going back to that part of it what what exactly is it because i can tell you my answers but my answers are also going to throw us far afield of where we're at right now or are you talking about what makes a b-list character a b-list character kind of deal yeah, that's part of it i believe that was your opening question a little while ago that never got answered because of the rabbit trails what we never go on rabbit trails come on now what? Yeah, no, yeah, we did it all the time. <laughs> what was that? Where, what were we exactly. talking about? Exactly. We're all guilty of it. I've been on Axonim's channel. He, he's guilty of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, throwing people under the bus. I know. We're, I started that statement. We are all guilty of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, I know, right? So I'm gonna throw that. Wait, what? <laughs> so I'm gonna throw that back at you. Right? <laughs> what is it that you're not finding for? What is making it a B rank in your opinion? Uh, which it is probably the better place to start to, because it is going to depend on like again. Uh. Even with Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man would not have been nearly as successful without the actual story, writing, and dialogue. Uh, especially the the first one. The first one nailed the writing and the arc. 
Uh, the second one drift felt a little aimless. It kind of felt like a placeholder for we need we we need this MacGuffin to be in place in time for the Avengers. So here's how we got the MacGuffin. Or maybe that was the third one. Um, yeah, no, because the second. Then it was the third one. It was one of the. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the third one. Because the, the third one. Yeah. The second one still wasn't bad. Yeah. But but again, you you kind of getting getting the point there that. Yeah. No, and I, I agree with that. Cause the the writing was amazing in the first one, but I think that for me is part of it. Like one of the things that I love about comic books is when you're reading a comic book i don't have any confidence whatsoever that any character i fall in love with is going to be here next season <laughs> like there is actual an actual feeling of jeopardy and connection and that i don't know what's going to happen who knows what's going to happen uh and i I, for me, that makes writing a lot more real and a lot more tangible, and it makes my investment in whatever we're talking about feel more consequential as an audience member or a viewer or whatever you want to call it. And so if you combine that kind of treatment of a work with me getting stabbed by a stalagmite, uh, with... With a stalagmite? Slag tight, one of them. I can't remember which one's the top and which one's the bottom. Uh, which one's the one that was mispronounced horribly in that audiobook? Oh, sorry, that's we a rabbit trail. Never mind, that. we'll we come back. About something else. <laughs> anyway, uh, when you combine really good quality writing that is believable and doesn't make every character who is not the lead out to be an idiot. And that gives depth to characters that aren't just your primary characters, where, like, I don't know, maybe even your bad guys actually have real qualities to them. <laughs> Fair point. That That's a wonderful work where the bad guy is real, and the bad guy is a person, and the bad guy maybe isn't a bad guy. Ooh, potato. Misguided. Not a great person, but, like, when you, like, you have an option to look at the story from his point of view and go, oh, huh. You, you mean like how they brought Thanos up throughout most of the series? Yeah. Where like that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. He wasn't exactly. relatable per se, but he definitely had an objective that made sense that wasn't you know a, a Dudley do right villain twirling his mustache mm -hmm. for the sake of doing evil for the sake of evilness kind of yeah, no, I mean, he he was a horrible human. Well, human is not yeah. maybe the right term. Uh, he, he was a horrible creature who was doing horrible things for what he thought were genuinely good reasons. Yeah, that. And that makes him far more relatable and understandable and all those things. So when you have amazing writing like that and an amazing story and characters that I may or may not lose and the bad guy may or may not win. Yeah then you can get away with, for me, you can get away with mediocre acting. Having amazing acting just, well, I mean, makes it that much better. And but that, that, that last acting. part, more to the point, is more to the point, Axonim. You, you understood him, his motivations, but also why you really needed him to not succeed. That he was a bad guy. Not just for, not just again, a mustache twirling Dudley Do Right. Like, uh, what's his name from the Guardian, the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie could have been that kind of a bad guy too. But he wasn't developed enough and he just came off wrong. Um, why, why am I blanking on, oh, the poor Enderman. It's raining. Um, anyway, he could have come off as a much better bad guy and a much better foil for the Guardians if you understood his motivation and why any of that was even happening. Uh, for, for all that I like of the work that James Gunn does, the 
uh, the villains in his works are not his strong suit. Exactly. You un you understood him as a character. The bad guy was a character, not just a placeholder for a thing for the bad guys to fight. He wasn't a thing to be overcome, merely like, you know, a bump in the road or some mm -hmm. other physical obstacle. It was, yeah. And, and that's what made Obadiah Stane a worthy enemy in the first Iron Man. It's what made... Thor not works as well, particularly with the elves, like, because there wasn't a real good explanation for why they weren't there and active earlier. At least in the first Thor movie, you had, you had a sense of why things were happening and what was happening that you didn't get in the second Thor movie. Uh, and the third, and oh, oh, that's why there's more than there's more than just the two of you. Okay. Oh, oh, you broke my shield. Um. All right. Deep insight will pause for this uh, survival break. As well, while you're surviving, like that's part of it for me. But the other part of it is you can have an amazing actor for me, and. Once I've suspended this belief and I see the production behind the work, for me, it doesn't matter. And once you have something like the snap and you come back from the snap with something like that, you've got to immediately follow up with something major for your characters. Where you realize that they are like they are tangibly changed in certain ways and it really felt more like after like we recovered from the snap it was like oh okay like they tried it's not that it just it didn't feel like they were trying to keep it tangible the superheroes became caricatures of people for me in the writing and the treatment and the things. So I already was kind of fading. And then on top of that, then came out Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which I was just kind of like, okay, so this is the guy whose only value you've presented to me is as Captain America's best friend, only minus the Captain America. And... um. The premise was good. The execution was poor because the idea was, okay, Cap retired. Now what? Somebody's got to take up the mantle of Captain America. Somebody's got to take up the shield and do the work that was being done before. Which was very much a worthy goal and an endeavor worth doing. But the way they executed that... Oh, guys, come on. My sword broke, and now I'm trying to figure out how to manage a mob of mobs. Is it a flash mob when they suddenly appear? It's a worthy goal, but I don't think that was the time for another hero. I don't know. Well, I, personally, I don't think you should have ever been able to ow. reverse the snow. Uh, what? Reverse the snap? That's what I said, yeah. No, that wasn't what came it. across on the audio. No, it's fine. Ah, um, no! Yeah, no, I don't think... If, if you wanted all your superheroes to be in place, then they shouldn't have been the 50%. And that, that's how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, but that wouldn't have been... Oh, come on, guys. Well, that's... That goes back to Reyes' point earlier, is that you've taken away the comic book feel of where is the risk? I mean, you don't have true victory without there being a risk of failure there. And if everyone gets to go home at the end of the day, there's no risk there. I'm okay um, with the snap being undone. The snap being undone is true to comic. Yeah. In a to a degree, yeah. 
No, the, the snap being undone is canon. The blip being undone was done by, um... That, Gosh, yeah, name? that that part that part of the thing played out pretty much the way it went. Yeah, I I hear you. I hear you. You can go away with that stuff. Uh, it's not so much the moon tan. I just I just want some slime. I just need some slime. Oh, oh, well. We're up to ten. <laughs> I don't know where you're holding what you've got. Uh, I am holding what I got in the water 32. where I died. Thirty-two. We're because 32. somehow, I don't know, my shield failed me or something. Story time with medic. Uh -oh. medic. Hey, medic. How you doing? I, uh, I'm better now that, uh, I was able to get a shower. <laughs> yeah, that, that is usually better. We all, we all appreciate Ooh, that, even if it is virtual. Okay. Mm, no, you don't know why I had to get a shower. Oh, no. Okay, do I want to on it? It, it involved, it, it involves, uh, opening a, uh, Christmas present from my, my buddies. Oh, no. <gasps> You opened it! Uh-huh. And? And... You don't sound when, excited. When, when I did, um, I got an EMF reading of five. <gasps> no way! <laughs> you talk about... Nice. You talk about pucker factor and time to get nice. a shower. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's epic! Yes. Dude. Yes. And uh just just so Arcadius knows, nothing broke. It was the meeple dice that I heard. Oh, I oh okay. I know. I was messing with it. Okay. Um <laughs> the the little uh uh key key ring clip. Mm -hmm. You know me. That's amazing. Thank you. I really, <laughs> really love that. And the books I was just talking to Arcadius about it the other day, about oh. how I have not read the Wheel of Time series because I could uh. not find the first three books. Uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't find the first three books that I wanted when I was trying to buy them. So, yep. amazing nice. gifts. Yeah, and um, the guy who did that keychain uh, lives in North Carolina. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, incidentally, I did get the message to read the labels, and uh, nothing had labels. The message to read the labels. Yeah, can we go back to this? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Anon, I didn't mean to. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, I didn't do I didn't do the labels. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Because I found the things like the EMF reader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the text said uh Reyes says you're killing her, make sure you read the labels. I'm like, uh okay. Reyes didn't say anything about labels, Reyes just said you're killing her because he was like, he got it, and I'm like, and did you see the message I sent to him in Discord? No. All right, I put a pressure plate there because somebody keeps leaving the door open. But yeah, I kept going and 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 and, and he was not being forthright with information, and that was eating my soul. Well, I'm sorry I didn't make it on stream tonight. My, I had whole ten That's okay. purposes doing it, but uh, five minutes before I was supposed to get off, I get a call, and that call lasted until a little after eight. Oh. 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 Yeah, a little Man. over two hours on the call. Owie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. That's sad. I've had those days. No. I'll pass. Like Arcadia said, it felt like I was back in EMS. 
Mm. Bad. It's a bad day right there. X and M. Sorry. A. I see you. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed everything. I'm also a little concerned about your EMF reading. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm getting ready to go to bed here in a little bit, and I'm, I'm going to. Are you though? Are <laughs> you? Well, I'm, I want to take another reading, and uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> but after see, when, when I open that, you, I, I wish I would have recorded it because my face, when I opened it up the first time, I was like, oh. I even sent you a text, Reyes. But uh, oh no, I don't have my phone in front of me. But yeah, I, I opened it up and I and the very first thing that popped in my mind after I pulled it out. Now this is before I turned it on, mm -hmm. but after I pulled it out, the first thing that popped in my mind was I've got to get me a parabolic mic. I've got to get me <laughs> a. I mean, I'm just going through the list. I got to get something that looks like a, a journal. You know, you, just just start putting them up behind me, and you know, whenever I yeah. ever get back to streaming Phasmo, then uh, I was going to say you guys are still playing Phasmo on, on the regular, right? Mm, I wouldn't say regular. If we ever can, we do. But okay, uh, been a little because I, I th did did they not put out another uh, update recently? Because I, I thought I saw Impulse and uh, Tango playing because there was an update to. They, they did a second giant update here the okay. last couple of weeks. Well, they just set up, put out a new one again today that changed some things, too. Well, like, a good change some things? Like, added missing stuff changed some things? or uh, From what I understand, it's like, make things even more scary change some things. Oh, I mean, that that, 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 that is the point of the game, is it not? I... Mm-hmm. No, I mean, like, don't give me... I, I really want to play, you know, like... Like, get in there with, with Ark again and, and do some serious ghost hunting again because <laughs> they've changed a lot and it looks so much fun. And I can tell you, just from the couple of games that I've played by myself, it's a whole lot scarier. <laughs> but, yeah, like I was saying, I'm... I'm going to be going to bed here shortly, and I'm going to take my EMF reader and walk the house again just to double check. <laughs> that's a smart move. <laughs> you know, I, I thought you were trying to sleep. Just go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least I'm doing it with the lights on. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's... Until they go off, I mean. Uh, uh, but that's... here's my question. If you find something like... So, so how many times are you going to stand around going, are you there? Well, let's just he put it this way. He doesn't have a ghost box. He can't do that yet. No. Oh. Let's just let's just put it this way. It is nine thirty. Look, look, when the Ouija it, board you, suddenly falls to the ground, that that's when that's when you might want to, you know. Well, so. it's not. It's nine thirty. If you guys mm -hmm. get a knock on your door at one in the morning, don't ask <laughs> <why>. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Mark. Me and Joe are sharing a bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, and right, right now he, right now he can't get under the bed anyway. Uh, we had to put Aww. stuff on. We had to put stuff under there because he kept hurting his back. Oh, poor buddy. Yeah, he's getting to be an old puppy. Hmm. He may, he may have grown old, but he sure hasn't grown up. Oh, All right. now I remember what it was supposed to be. Oh. Uh, Rest was going to put a label on the EMF reader that said, from your uh, truck staffer or, ah. or supplier or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. I, I, you know what? I don't know if it makes sense because it didn't beat when it hit me in F5. <laughs> is it that or, uh, or is it just on silent? You know what? I don't know, because like a typical guy, I didn't bother to read the instructions. <laughs> well, that wasn't even any of the files. Sure. That was just the boot-up sequence. Well, I mean, why would you read the instructions? No, it was a solid EMF-5, because when you first turn it on, it'll shoot up the EMF-5 and back down to 1, 
<laughs> and then you just kind of hold it there and as you're moving around you'll see it flicker every now and then as it gets closer to a two and then all of a sudden it just went boop bright red <laughs> well i mean you know it could, it could just be electric fields like maybe you got some faulty wiring or something oh you know? uh -huh. yeah it could, could be it could be that's, that's <laughs> what that's what i'm thinking <laughs> you know just just so you can sleep tonight that's all <laughs> you know, either that or in not thinking about it, I somehow swallowed a magnet. Because I swallow magnets all the time. And my belly's giving off a, a magnetic field, and that's what it's picking up. It's a possibility. You know, we don't know. We gotta, can't rule anything out. Or it could just be Mrs. Smith who owned the house before me and died in my bedroom. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a true story or not. Oh, it is 100% true, and I did not find out until a week after I bought the house. I thought they had to disclose deaths. Nope. Well, I mean, it depends. They, they have to disclose it if you ask, and I forgot to ask. Oh. <laughs> yeah, something you shouldn't forget to do. Yeah, why do you think... you guys think I joke when I say that I'm pretty sure my house is haunted and I hear things, and when you're when you're watching me on camera and all of a sudden you see my head jerk to the left and I'm like, I'll be right back, and I swear <laughs> I hear people talking in the house. You think I'm joking? No, oh, I don't think you're joking. I just think you have really <laughs> loud neighbors. <laughs> But now you now you can find out whether or not it's the neighbors. Yeah, it's like Java every time he stares into the corner of the, the central bathroom, but it's because there's people on the other side of the wall in the apartment next to us. And I think one of them has a dog now, because I occasionally hear a dog whimpering when, when I'm trying to actually sleep. Well, I, Are I didn't you sure know. that's not Mojo? Uh... I mean, it could be, but he's not on that side. I'm on the wrong, that that's on the wrong side from where I'm at to be Mojo. You're saying Huskies are not exactly known for their Quiet? silence. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Well, I, I didn't mean to take over the last part of the stream here. Ah. I'm getting ready to get off here and go to bed. Well, my, my main objective was to continue slime hunting, and it has, uh... It's been a mixed endeavor. We'll, we'll call it that. This is supposed to be this. This is supposed to be a relaxing stream after after a frustrating day at work. And um, we we did not get the shipment of stuff to work on that we were supposed to get because the warehouse distribution manager is now out with COVID. And apparently nobody knows how to send a shipment of stuff to be refurbished without him. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'm sorry you had a bad day. Uh, no, the bad day was when I stabbed myself in the hand twice with the X-Acto blade. Hmm. Uh, the first time I didn't even notice that I had done it until I flipped the bridge over and had blood stains on it, and then I had to sand out the blood stains and the... Cello Bridge. Why? Oh. That's character. Uh, no. That's a negative Ghost Rider. That's how, you, that's how you get schools calling you uh, with some questions that the shop manager does not want to answer. Ah, uh, no. It's, tell them it's a new paint job. It's the Jason Cello. <laughs> you can charge more for it. <laughs> Uh, well, the way the thermostat's been, there's definitely been some sweat involved, too, because, you know, yes, it is stupidly cold outside around here, but, uh, inside the shop, nah, it's, uh, it's definitely toasty. Arcadia, so you're going to make it back to the place anytime soon? Uh, I'm out here okay. trying to kill climbs. Ah. So I'm trying to decide if this is how I want to do the division. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. I'm 
I, I was hoping that I could have got on and finished the, uh, fixed the iron farm, but that didn't happen. So, what is the problem with the iron farm? Uh, well, what I believe happened initially was I, I built it into the ground, but because there is so much spawn space now available underground, um, it was just spawning golems in other places. Ah. Uh, and, uh, I want to say it's a 40 block radius. I could be wrong on that one. Well, I moved it up into the air. Okay. And I got everything up into the air, and it was working just fine. I okay. got up and uh, went and got something to eat, and I come back, and I wasn't hearing anything. I'm like, okay, did, did it stop working again? So I go in there, okay. no zombie. Uh, Was he name tagged? He was name tagged, mm -hmm. and he was holding a piece of uh, rotten flesh in his hand. Uh, was he protected from sunlight? Yep, it's fully enclosed and no spawnable area. And no, uh, hmm. no golem inside. Weird. And now they're all spawning on the ground. There are like a bazillion of them. Well, that's because of the community center. Or the community hall right there. Yeah, but it so got I moved. Had, I had uh, Arcadius fish me up another main tag, and I'm going to try to get another one up there and see if it sticks. If it doesn't this time, then I'm just going to go, instead of doing one of these small little temporary things, I'm just going to go build a a Psycraft massive <laughs> iron farm out there that I know is going to work and just be done with it. Yeah, there's there's a couple and, designs out there, and we got a villager breeder going now, right? Yes. Nice. Ish. Ish. Like, is it a fully automatic deal or? No, it's a hut <laughs> that I throw carrots in the hole. Oh, you, you, do that... realize, you do realize you haven't been on, right? So nothing is fully automatic, and nothing has a automatic shut off and nothing uh is... yeah that that shut off thing is the one we'll have words about uh, as a shut off you close the gate and stop giving them carrots is that the villager diet no, she, she she literally has a a uh cut out in the roof with <laughs> a um trap door and you just open the trap door you throw carrots in you close the trap door Okay, uh, I'll I'll find some time somewhere. Why? It's beautiful. It works. It's, it's working for now, and it's uh, outside of our our mountain area. So, I'll, I'll I'll find some time somewhere. Why are you hating on my things? I made a nice thing, <laughs> and I added to it with dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. All Let's right. have a good night. Oh. Good luck, good night, don't Slime die. Slime ahoy! Due north. Yay. Yep, I see him. Later. A couple of them. Good night. Have fun. Bro. Good night. No, 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 no. Jump this way, jump this way, you dumb slime. That's it, keep coming this way. Don't despawn. Don't you despawn. This way. Yeah, come on. Uh, Alright, have fun. I'm going to try to get this guy and maybe one or two more. I don't... I'm not going to be on for that much longer because I still got... I got a lot of cello bridges to cut tomorrow and that was part of the frustration today was uh, one of the cellos... Apparently, something is set up wrong with the neck and so I cut three cello bridges before figuring that out. Oh, I saw somebody with a sword coming by, and I thought that was a zombie. And so, yeah, I went through the laborious process of cutting three cello bridges for nothing, because they're all too short. 
And after the third one, I'm told, oh yeah, so, sometimes it gets a little weird and you you just need to uh, cut it way higher than you think you need to and uh, and then trim it from there. Shade it back and trim back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I... Really? This is when we find really, out that... Really, really. Ah! I got four slime balls. Yeah, I got eight. Hey, net profit of 12. Only if we make it back with them. Well, sir, I have half a heart, you know. No, that's right. There was no musical number for uh, if I had a heart. There was. Was there? All I remember is if I had a brain. a brain. It was if I only had a brain. Yeah, but didn't they all have a musical number for their, their thing, or no? Uh, no, they all did. Okay. Then why is If I Only Had a Brain the only one I remember? Never mind, don't answer that. Oops. because I know what your answer is going to be. Oh! Alright. Yeah, I think this is... Oh. Oh, man. It's quarter to ten. Never mind. I, I'm deaf. I'm going to go hide myself in a little hidey hole here and uh, make sure the door is actually shut behind me. Actually, let me make sure I don't starve to death first. Unlike some people, I actually eat on time. All right. I want to go home. This is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesdays, six thirty p.m. U.S. Eastern. Well, six thirty adjacent, uh, depending <laughs> depending on when work finishes. Because uh, sometimes it, it's sometimes it's like that. Uh, Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is something. Uh, it's usually Games Revisited. I've probably got one more stream of the Guitar Project, although I really want to have this finished before then, in which case Games Revisited will resume. I need to finish up the Zelda series before I go any further. But since I had to unplug and replug a bunch of stuff in order to make the cameras for the workshop happen, I get a test to make sure that Zelda will still actually work. Um, so, wish me luck. And let's go find and see if there's somebody somebody to raid. Can anybody find me somebody to raid? No. No, nope. None of the people I'd normally raid are on, so uh, have fun, enjoy, I'll see you next time.